What's up everyone, Nelson Dallas here for another episode of Random Memory Tips. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to memorize any lines of text, any lines of poetry really quick. It's a really simple, and I don't even know how it works, technique uh, for memory and memorizing those kinds of things. You gotta see this, let's go. So I learned this technique watching another YouTube video. It's not something that I came up with or had ever heard about until I watched Lauren Tothero's video on this. I don't know where she got from either or if she came up with it, but I tried it and it involves like zero memory techniques. It's just kind of doing this process that your brain somehow gobbles up this information and is able to spew it back out. It's insane. Wait. I will say that if you do this, yes, you'll get the lines in your head really fast, but you then have to maybe apply a memory palace technique to help kind of solidify it there for a longer period of time. But if you're on set, if you're about to deliver something and you need to get those lines right in your head, um, this technique is almost foolproof. I have a goal in mind, but I think to start, uh, we could do something very simple, like this random line from a random poem called Sasquatch. The Sasquatch squats, flowers in hand, on an old stump by the riverbed. That's the first two lines. You read over that line uh, or lines a couple times, kind of get the gist of it in your head. Okay, so the Sasquatch squats, flowers in hand, on an old stump by the riverbed. Sasquatch squats, flowers in hand, on an old stump by the riverbed. Then what you do is, and do it with a pen on a piece of paper, just so you get that visual memory, is write down the first letter of each word. So the is just a T, S for Sasquatch, and include punctuation and capitals if they have uh, capital letters. Squats, comma, flowers in hand, comma, on an old stump by the riverbed, period. This is what I have, doesn't look like much, but then what you try to do is try to read this, right? Try to read what it actually is just using the first letter of each word. And so it may seem a bit impossible, but if you think about it and you remember a little bit the visual things that you saw when you first read it, you can kind of put it together. And if you can't get it, you can always kind of look back, um, but you should be able to get this pretty quick. So the Sasquatch squats, flowers in hand, on an old stump by the river. Bang. Bang. Bend. So then what you do is once you kind of have that, read this over a couple times in your head. The Sasquatch squats flowers in hand on an old stump by the riverbed. The Sasquatch squats flower in hand, flowers in hand on an old stump by the riverbed. That's it. Now, that's not that impressive just because that's just two lines. So let's try it maybe with something a little more complicated like... Nick, I want to explain. What's there to explain? But I just want Look. to say that... I'm not the first guy who fell in love with a girl he met in a restaurant who then turned out to be the daughter of a kidnapped scientist, only to lose her to a childhood lover who she'd last seen on a deserted island and who turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. I know it. It all sounds like some bad movie. Just to reiterate what the quote is exactly, I'm not the first guy who fell in love with a woman that he met at a restaurant who turned out to be the daughter of a kidnapped scientist only to lose her to her childhood lover who she last saw on a deserted island who then turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. Yeah. Well, it's a little confusing. Maybe I'll read it one more time. First guy who fell in love with a woman that he met at a restaurant who turned out to be the daughter of a kidnapped scientist only to lose her to her childhood lover who she last saw on a dessert line, who then turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. And now this next step is to write down all those letters, just the first letters. And I think it helps if you write it in the same format that you're reading it. So if something skips to the next line, you should write it out that way. That way you have the visual memory of it when you read it, the visual memory when you write it down, and then when you try to actually remember it with all those pieces together, you actually have kind of a, an amazing blueprint of it in your head. Here it is. Yeah, that's a lot of letters, right? So let's try to read it. Let me see if I can read it. I have it here in case I need to look over the first few times, just try to get through it. I'm not the first guy who fell in love with a woman that he met at a restaurant who then turned out to be the daughter of, the kid of a kidnapped scientist only to lose her to her childhood lover who she last saw on a deserted island who then turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. All right, let's try this. I'm not the first guy who fell in love with a woman who he met at a restaurant who then turned out to be the daughter of a kidnapped scientist only to lose her to her childhood lover who she last seen on a deserted island who then turned out 15 years later to be the leader of the French underground. Boom. 
All right, thank you guys. That was a short one, uh, pretty easy, not much memory to it, but I hope it helps you. A lot of people ask me, how do I remember specific texts really quickly? And most of the time I tell them, just use a memory palace, but that takes a process. It takes up some time. So this is actually a really quick method and I think it's fun. It's kind of weird how it just gets absorbed and anyone can do it. So go ahead and try that and I hope it helps you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all the things. I'll see you very shortly. Thanks guys, peace. Oh